Mm, let's go. Let's go. <coughs> let's go. Let's go. Yo, Austin. What's up? While you were gone, mm -hmm. there's this guy, I don't want to say names, wears a red shirt, has two thumbs, also was ranked 666th in single player PUBG he play. He was. That's really good. It's like I said, I since you left the PUBG scene for a while, I, I kind of consumed you like a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think happens hang in on, Pokemon? Hang on. Let's roll that back. Consume you like a Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Have you played Pokemon? Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, you gotta catch them all. <laughs> yeah, you don't. But don't when, they, don't, when they, don't when they evolve, they like eat their previous form. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Episode just justified its existence immediately. <laughs> Man, that what? should be a lot fucking darker if that was the case. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Is that the jingle that happens when they evolve? That's that song, right? No? <laughs> oh! Alright. You alright, Ruka? He's laying in this box, but he laid weird, so he got imbalanced, and he almost, like, Tipped over. What do you mean laying in this box? So we got like this is a box that used to hold I see what happened now. It's a box that used to hold mandarin oranges and he just kinda sits in it like it's a little hot tub or something. Uh but he just he's too big for the box. So the one side of it just ripped open and he got really startled and <laughs> is like, what happened to my box? Wait, can I ask you something? Yeah. So you have a, a automatic laser and something that automatic feeds your cats, but you can't buy them a bed? They don't like- cats don't like beds, man. I mean, some of them do, Jeez. but you can't guarantee it. You guys jump already? We're going high speed, right? Yeah, you guys jumped early. Oh, sorry, my controller must have malfunctioned. <laughs> so... What does he sleep in, then? He usually sleeps, like, next to the bed. On, like, if I leave my jeans next to my side of the bed, he'll just sleep on those. Mm. You have two boy cats or a boy and a girl cat? Two boys. Why couldn't it be two I've girls, been... Dan? Because you said he slept in the Mandarin. <laughs> That's box. valid, valid. Gotcha. Um, he can't pull a U, right? It's true. I was did, trying. Do they have the ability to procreate, or did you make a decision to take that? They've been uh, spayed and neutered. Mm. It is uh, as brutal as it is, it is the correct decision to spay and neuter your pets. Why is that? Because uncontrolled pet population is a significant issue, and there are literally millions of stray cats in yeah. the United States that are literally tortured by the existence of themselves all day. What do you mean, tortured by the existence of themselves? They don't get food, they kill birds, they fight each other, they fuck a bunch, and make more sad little cats. It's really depressing to think about. I was, like, a little sore about it, though, because, like, Tomo... <laughs> you were sore. <laughs> Tomo... He's just happy to be alive. Like, he he's a cat. He, you know, eats, he poops. Uh, once a day he meows, and then I pet him for, like, 20 minutes, and he's like, all right, I'm going back to sleep now. Ruka is, like, a specimen. This cat is, like, the blue chip stock of cats. So I'll admit, when we had him fixed, I was like, we might, maybe we should save some of this cat sperm because, like, it's a shame to take it out of the gene pool, even if it is the humane thing to do. What do you, what's, why is he such a blue chipper? He's smart. He's like, he in solves, he solves problems. Like, I'll have a box with a bunch of holes in it, and then we'll put one of his toys in the box. The dude will like flip and rotate the box and shake it to get the toy out. And then he just looks at us <laughs> and meows, and he's like, yeah, what now? And I go, I don't know, dude. That's pretty much what I had planned for like the next half hour. <laughs> do, you, do you ever think that maybe that's his way of just saying... Get me a book instead of these cat toys. <laughs> What's he gonna do with a book? Read it. Uh, <laughs> gonna read it. Yo, am hey, amigo is, sucks, dude. Can I, ask, Ryan? Can I ask you some somewhat personal? Sure. Yeah. Is Kate's real first name Kate, or is it? I mean, is that yes and no? That's not her birth first name, but it is her legal okay. first name. 
I don't understand. Because, like, she moved to Canada in an era where they were like, we'll just give you an English name when you come over here. Like, you, uh, you, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's got too many J's in it, you know? Come on, you're moving to Canada. Here, you got to, there's five names. You could be Lisa, Sarah, Sally, Kate, or Allison. What do you want? It's really how old culturally was, insensitive. How old was she when me? she had to pick that? Like, nine or something. And did she pick it or did her parents pick it? Uh, I think she picked it. Is that still a practice today? I do I not know. It is. But like when I taught ESL, first day of kindergarten or first grade, they were like, okay, step like day one of the class, you're giving these kids their English names. It's real weird. You know, imagine if you went into like a Chinese classroom and some dude's talking to you in a language you don't understand. And it's like, hey, uh, choose a name that you're going to be uh, known for for the rest of your academic career. You got no idea. And you end up picking like, you know, something stupid. Shh. There was, Wait, a kid, so... there was a kid in one of my classes named Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him that that was maybe not the greatest of names? I, I didn't choose the name. I, I got him when he was in, like, fourth grade. I was like, Chewy? Oh. Dude held up his hand as if it was, like, you know, Bill. That's not a terrible... I mean, it, that was the name of my old bird, though, so... <laughs> it's an animal name. It is. I'm not saying you can't also use it as a human name, but, you know. Like, if you had a dog or, you know, a bird named Chewy, that's one thing. This is a human being. He's going to be an engineer no. someday. On the bright side for, like, his graduation song, he could be like, achoo, achoo, a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that practice where when you graduate, you go up in front of the whole school and sing a song with your name in it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, uh, I was, uh, what do you want from me? Great song, though. It's a great song. Yo, so I, I used to teach at a, a private high school where we had a... Not a lot, but I'd say a, a small contingency of students from South Korea, mm. and it was kind of the same practice. That's kind of what I asked. Is like they would they would give themselves a, you know, the teachers would learn their Korean names, but we'd also have like a backup name. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like this one kid his name was Eddie. But anyways, one of the things that I don't know if you if this happened to you, Ryan, um, but when the seniors would graduate, and tell me, I might have already told you this story, they would all the seniors would buy a pound bag of flour. And then throw it at each other. Nah. So they'd be like, that's not something. I, I, well, I, I didn't teach high school, so I don't know. But uh, Do you know Kate's original K name? Uh, yeah, but I would not tell you. Okay. That's, Can, you that's, think if I asked Kate, she would tell me? Probably not. <laughs> Why? Maybe, maybe, maybe next convention. Okay. Hyun Jun. I remember that kid, a.k.a. Eddie. So wait, you guys all have right. There's a bunch of rifles over here. All right, I get, I'll get one. I'll get one. I'm shaking the That's kind of crazy, though. What if you showed up somewhere like, eh, your name's not Ryan. You can That's pick what I mean. These. Like, just to give him a new name. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know, you know. Yeah, your name's Hyunju, but that's pretty tough for us to say. So, from now on, congrats. You're just like our 900,000th Sarah. Yeah, There's that's... a car 98 over here, too. Sorry. People are getting mad at me for not calling out weapons, but we're always talking. It's hard yeah. to get. Can you insert yeah, it? I'll go back and get it. Uh, it's on the bottom floor, right, left side. Okay. So, I guess, but here's the thing. I guess what's Kate's going to do, argue about it? Yeah, she's you know? nine. She just wants to get that stamp, you know, so that the family can move. That's crazy. Yo, and that's Canada. We would never do something like that. You also, you play, you've been playing a little Mario, right? Very, very little bit. How do you like it? Uh, I honestly like. I not played enough of it to have an opinion on yes or no because I only played an hour of it. But it, it it was a fun hour. So okay. Were you on the show when we were talking about the review scores that it got? Yes. Okay. Because I want to talk about that again for anybody who wasn't watching that NLSS. It's it got eleven out of ten. It, right? Yeah, it got a six, six out, out of, of five, five from a website. You can't do that. <laughs> it undermines the entire like chain that you've set up of reputability. It so, says it's like, well, all the five out of fives are not perfect then? Yeah, you literally just lowered every five out of five you've ever given. <laughs> and will Without ever give again. But maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's just that good that it makes every game that came out before it a little bit worse. 
See, I haven't reached that point yet. Like, I just, like I'm waiting for it to hit that point of like, wow, this is amazing, you know? Because I'm still like on the intro levels and just collecting stuff like a normal old Mario, but it's fun. Do you guys know Clickhole? Uh, no. Why does it sound familiar? It's like the Onions uh, fake BuzzFeed. So they make like satirical articles, but kind of like a more web 2.0 style. Because the Onion is like a fake newspaper, right? Like. Right. They make satirical articles about the news. This is more like a satirical BuzzFeed. I, I laughed because the headline for one of them was like, uh, Bursting with creativity describes game where Mario dresses up in a chef's outfit. And I was like, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. I really like pretty much like the last 15 Mario games that have come out a lot. But you're always like, hey, this one, he has a bee suit. <laughs> <laughs> he could be a bee in this one. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you know, you got sure. me. We're just telling it short. Every every Mario has brought something actually new to the table. Yeah, like in Mario Galaxy, you can walk on a sphere. That's what's what's the stick on this one? Is just hats. Uh, it's the ability to possess enemies, which, by the way, is like really creepy. Yeah, it's like we are all looking like, at the trailers. Like that's that's funny, haha. You know, he's possessing. It's classic Mario. Just murders and possesses now <laughs> what do you mean like possess like then you control them yeah but it's not like oh you're just controlling him he literally possesses their brain and makes them not exist for like a bit yeah it's creepy like it even shows you like when you exit a possessed enemy it has like all the swirly animations like it doesn't know what the fuck just happened they got the like, confusion lines yeah Dun 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 dun. What's your favorite Mario, Dan? Can I let me guess first? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say you strike me as a Super Mario three guy. I I do like three. Dun 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 dun. I like um, I'd probably say three or SNES. Hmm. I understand. But two is good too, just because two had good music. I hate Probably two. The best music. It does have great music though. <laughs> the game's so weird though. It's like Mario One, you know. <laughs> Mario One, you know what's going on. Mario Three, you're like, that's like Mario One. Mario Two's like, go take these turnips out of the ground and then. This bird shoots its eggs at you. You got to jump on them in midair and then grab them well, and throw them back. Actually, the game isn't a Mario game. It's a Doki, it's Doki, Doki, Doki Panic. Doki Panic. Nintendo. It might be the most like well-known piece of gaming trivia <laughs> that makes you sound like an asshole when you say it. I don't know why. Like, and I'm not even like memeing. Like, there's something about. I don't know if I remember it as a kid or if I've seen it recently. But the ending of Mario 2, the last screen, like almost makes me want to cry. And you're talking to a guy that doesn't cry. Mm. I don't know why. Can you guys picture it? I don't think I ever it's, saw the ending. Isn't he just like asleep honestly. and he wakes up? Yeah. I don't know Wait. why. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, maybe it's the music. I don't know. Have you guys, let me ask this. I, I, have you guys ever almost teared up at a juego? Yes. At a I game. have cried at a video game. I think two. What two? Mm, Mario, uh, Ocarina of Time. Just do it. Just do it <laughs> me. <laughs> Was that one of them? Answer you anymore? No, 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 that no. That was just mean. No, no, no. Extremely no, no. rude. Uh, no, to the moon. Mmm. Fair. Is that about cancer? No, that is dragon something or other. Yeah, that's called okay. that dragon cancer. Yeah. Uh, to the moon. The there was another one recently. I don't remember. I just. I think I remember. No, I don't. I don't remember. But I know it happened. Did you guys? Which is weird. You, did you guys play the sequel to To the Moon? It's not out yet. Yeah, it's called never played... Three the Moon. It, no, it, it comes out in November. <laughs> but it's To the Moon like a adventure game type deal. It is just a story, basically. It's like in made an RPG maker. It's it's not really. It's barely a game, but it's a very it. t no. <laughs> it's a very touching story. <laughs> that was an accident. I mean, sort of. <laughs> just just <laughs> once. Just once. Just uh, this. I'm so I'm so loaded right now. Don't don't. Okay. Hey. Nice, okay. Nice. I'll just take us down now. What about you, Ryan? Anything close to moving that yeah, cold absolutely. dark heart? Um. 
Ooh, skirt. Uh, definitely when I was like 14, I played Final Fantasy VII. And, uh, you know, there's a. I feel weird because the game's coming out again, even though it's the world's oldest spoiler. It's like I, trying to. I, 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 it's like you spoil Robocop. Oh, the cop becomes a robot. I was gonna <laughs> watch that. Um. But when, when Sephiroth descends from the heavens above and slices the Masamune sword right through the gut of Aerith Targaryen. <laughs> I've never what do you remember doing? It goes like, gung, gung, gung. Gung, gung, gung. Gung, 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 Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember if I cried, but I was definitely like, oh, this is like, this is emotion. Um... Apart from that, to the moon, you know, I, I don't think I cried, but I was, like, definitely close. You know what gets me a lot is, um, in the same stupid way that, like, the ending to Super Mario Bros. 2 has no reason to make you cry. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I watch, like, a sports movie where the underdogs win, even though it's super <laughs> obvious and cheesy, I start to tear up, and I'm like, you know, that's human ambition, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's like we as mankind did it rocky every time you know it's just like he he had a goal and he accomplished it it's the, the right for human existence you know we haven't had sylvester stallone on any PUBG episodes in a long time no it's like since episode three <laughs> <laughs> no you're right Not we to, haven't to the moon is a great game fantastic wanna, game uh, I don't want to take that and I'll run with it. So. If, <laughs> if Sylvester Stallone were to cry at a video game, I wonder what video game he would cry at. Uh, Punch Out. <laughs> Obviously, it would be Punch Out. <laughs> oh, I love that game. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> My dice. <laughs> Yeah, did you know guys beaten punch out blindfolded? It's pretty cool. Yeah, um, Sinister good. One. It's very impressive. Dan, you're a punch out guy, right? Like, you really yeah. like punch out? It's a good game. I did, yeah. I didn't beat it until I was 30 years a senior. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a little bit uh, just to get framey on you guys. So, this Nintendo Mini Classic. Mm hmm. It's punch out is on there and number one okay it's not mike tyson okay we all understand why yeah but number two i can deal with that what i can't deal with is that it's not like frame perfect and literally you have no way to beat tyson unless he's like it's literally exactly that as the nintendo so it's like basically you can't beat it on the nes mini i just watched a man die off in the distance oh i have shit to give out what am i doing oh, who is a sniper i do i need some bits here you go <gasps> Give uh give Ryan your Forby. I'm gonna see has one already. Yeah, I gave Ryan your Forby. Thank you. I'm good. I got you got it. You got any uh tails, Austin? <laughs> what is a tail? <laughs> Something for the back of the sniper. The cheek pad. No, I need one too. <laughs> what? Okay, I see a guy really far off in the distance, and I want to take a ridiculous shot. If Where? Let's line up. Let's both line him up. Where? He's moving. I'm not taking it until he stops. He's south 195, up on that hill, in the trees, moving to the right. Moving toward. Okay, two of them. Three of them. Oh, okay. Oh, too high. There's they scattered like rats. I hit him. Yo, how do you keep your car shot? What are you what are you supposed to hold? Uh you hold the shoot button now. So then it doesn't pull out, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's an accurate state. That's some tail. Uh <laughs> let's move. I made noise and we need to leave. That's the thing that I've I've learned. Like, the second you start shooting, if you don't win the fight within, like, 20 seconds, just leave. Because another team's going to be running up behind you trying to kill you. What if they hate to see me go, but they love to watch me leave? <laughs> what if they hate to see you wake up before you go, <laughs> I guess that, that's up to them. Whammy. Wake me up before you snow globe. I got... Do -do 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 The bullets are doing nothing. <laughs> His power level must have ascended to 5,000 times. I'll Did you know wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Antonio Juju Brown. Smith-Schuster. No, their new rookie wide receiver is a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. 
Really? And when he caught his first touchdown pass during, I think, week two, he did a Kamehameha ha. I Excuse don't me? know how to say it. Kamehameha uh, celebration. That was really cool. Did you know that? that if you like Dragon Ball Z, you're a nerd? Yo, yo, hey, listen, listen. There's two guys uh, in the house, 150. They're looking at us. Um, they're, they're waiting. They're lining us up. I see him. Okay. I knocked him. He's moving to heal. Uh, we can go around these guys. They're kind of just holed up here. How did you knock them? The window didn't even break. It did. The windows on the right is what I shot them through. 17, 18, 19. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm, we're, we're making our way this way. They're, they're camped in the building, so it's like, why go even bother? <laughs> Your shot, do you hear those shots? It's exactly where we were earlier. Uh, Ryan, do you know the uh, voice of Sephiroth was um, voice acted by uh, Lance Bass? Only in Kingdom Hearts, but yes. Ooh, he did it. Oh, you, what did I, you beautiful bird. <laughs> <laughs> And then you go, you suck, bird. <laughs> it does suck, though. I'm like, look at this asshole. <laughs> oh. Oh, cool. Can't wait to get that drop. You know what I like? Like, this is like a big dip here. Like, it's hard to see. Where are you guys going? I don't know. Where are we going? That's what I'm asking you. We should we should chill where I'm at right now. I know it's weird. We got this little butt hut here. And we're downhill from everything, too. In the dip? Yeah. Like, you see, it's like a really big dish here, so they can't see us from anywhere. I just kind of want to chill here until, uh... What about... I'm going to keep my eyes on that that two-story, though. I don't think they're going to leave. I think they're going to just sit there. It's a big dish here? Yeah. This whole thing is low slightly from everything else. Like, it's like a... Like, 50 meter square. <laughs> or a 250 square meter. It's like circle. Repeating, of course. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm scoping these. Can I knock out one of those windows, Austin? Nah, 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 don't shoot unless you got a shot, you know? But I'm suppied. Uh, it's still gonna let them know, and they might think that we have left by now. You know? Yeah, yeah, no. That's, that's right, that's right, that's right. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, you hear that shot? 195? Yeah, shots everywhere right now. No, oh, but we're in the disc. I know. Oh, you mean We're the so dish? <laughs> it's what, no, it's it's what geologists call these things. Uh, it's a little dish. You're in between two mountains. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let's get a move on here. Wait. Turlet strats? What? I want to get to this butt hut, actually. Or these rocks, even. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it. He's... <laughs> Before you hit something, we're moving. We're moving. Well, I one second. I don't want to get a splinter. <laughs> oh, he's a guy southeast. He, Directly yeah. southeast. Yeah, he was like next to that shit shack up on the hill. He left though. I hit him. He was not happy. I tried to hit him in the head, but didn't get there. Uh, Gratatas to our 30. Suppy, suppy Gratatas. Suppy. Awesome, we're kind of in the, the tight area. Can you just let us know if you shoot? I will, sorry. Because we're kind of, you know, exposed in the dish right now. Or saucer, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to leave this butt hut open. If we need to take cover, just dive in the butt hut. Yo, what do you guys think about Area 51? It's a military base. I know, but do you think there's any, you know... No. What makes you so sure? Because we can see it. Go yeah, you can Google see maps. inside of it or underneath it? I mean... He's talking about Google Maps. Google Maps. What do you think about it, Area 51, Dan? I don't know. They made a video game about it, and it was at every movie theater in the 90s. Very true. He's, he's getting shot at. 
So 345? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take a shot. I shot over him, I think. I'm Where is he taking at? a shot as well. Oh, I see. He's near a butt hut at 345. No, that's someone else. Oh, I see another one. Numbies. Hit him in the foot. I got tagged from somewhere. Uh, I'm getting the hut. Up on the hill southeast. Oh. Not like this. Not like this. Give me some cover. Give me cover fire. Knocked one. Ah. Oh. Oh, Tried. I knocked one, but the other one got you. Where was he? They're uh, uh, southeast up on the hill. Like big uh, dragonstone? Uh, I don't, Southeast on the hill, right? I don't know how There's else many hills in the southerly direction. The one that's to the southeast. <laughs> Fuck. Dragonstone. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> nice try. What <laughs> The positioning. Towards us. You peeking? Uh, Ryan, I have a suppied car on me if you oh. want to use it with an 8x. I got boys 16 or <laughs> It's the East. longest looting I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy her. Thank you. Oh! Get Jesus! Go off! <sighs> you have any drinks on you? Uh, no. I had some bandies and firsties. A lot of firsties. <laughs> so Austin's doing that. Yeah, minus just camera two. Fuck. <laughs> oh. These guys are really coming really close to us. I'm ready. I'm gonna peek out this window, all right? <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was him. <laughs> Oh, here they down down the road in the U.S. Here they come. A trail of blood <laughs> leaves in their wake. Scared him. <laughs> Thirteen alive, boys. Fortnite skills. Sign this guy up. Dude, you guys are golden. Butt hut coverage? It's not that bad. Huh? He's gonna tag him. Oh, I like him. Oh, God. <laughs> the hill to our south this is your shot soldier you got him you got him oh let's go hit him in the femoral artery oh, that second one should hit him i'm done austin good luck good luck my friend <laughs> give him some crossfire throw one more th throw one more haymaker their way i don't see them he's using the <laughs> fortnite skills <laughs> goodbye Hey, I got a supping car with an 8x on my body, if you're interested. I think you might be able to get it safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice work. <laughs> How are they not getting... <laughs> okay, okay, they can't hit you. Somebody else get him. Somebody get down, up. get down, get down. Go prone, go prone. Somebody else get up. Uh, 
That's right, don't mess with Texas. <laughs> I hate aim punch, dude. What's that? Aim punch is bugged in this patch. What's that? It's when you get hit, your aim gets messed up, but it's way more violent than it's supposed to be. <laughs> Brian, don't, don't, don't pick. We gotta, we just gotta move. Fuck, I don't, I don't know how these guys aren't getting into another fight. Oh, he got panned twice. Oh, there's just a guy out in this field. All right. <laughs> Why are they just in the blue? God. <laughs> <laughs> that that's frustrating. They were shooting us for eight years and no one came up behind them. Just let them get away with it. <sighs> well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, that's not a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Let's, see. Let's go. Oh, yeah.